It's like you don't take life too seriously, but you also have to take your progress seriously. Because if you do not, then you'll wake up in a couple years from now and you'll be just where you are now. Just exactly where you are now. Right now, a year passes for me feels like a week. That's how it feels. Years will blow by. Four years from now, it will seem like nothing, dude. And you'll either be a pimp, chode. Dude, anything that of real significance takes years to cultivate. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. I'm very, very I'm self hypnotized to the hard fucking work and being fucking funny. I work fucking hard, dude. Everybody that I see working is in my mind fucking pussies. Holy shit, people don't work, dude. It's so crazy how little people work. People go to work for eight hours, it's like two hours. What are they doing? You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really wanna be successful, some days you gonna have to stay up three days in a row. I never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50, and 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep, he said, sleep, sleep is for those people who are broke. Dude, like you have to train your mind to be like, okay, new task, look at the task, focus on it. Like at the end of the workday, you should look retarded. Okay? Like when I see guys that work hard in the end, like they say they work hard in the end of the day, they're not, they're able to formulate proper sentences. Yeah, right. That's like if you went to the gym and you just did a fucking crazy bench press like chest routine and then you came out and you're still benching the exact same. At the end of a work day, you should be, your sentences should sound retarded. You should be you're like, uh, 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 uh. oh fuck. That's what I look like at the end of every day of work. I'm spent. So because of that, work ethic is built, right? So it's like a, it's like a, like an endurance race. So the thing is, like you, you build that up. Somebody came in my office the other day crying. I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Listen to me. All men are created equal. Some work hard in preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s. They went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have heart. People just don't fucking work. They have no work ethic. I've, I never meet anybody with work ethic. Like, rarely. When I do, I'm like, yo, hi, hi, dude. And then we're like instantly friends. Because almost nobody has a work ethic. It's so crazy. The problem is, you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. I can't have fun working. Why not? It's your attitude towards the work. Now, sometimes work can be tough. I get that. It can be miserable. It can be soul sucking, but but in general, you, it's mental strength. You choose to have fun. Because I realize I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta I gotta breathe it. I gotta eat it. I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. And I realize that I need to surround myself with winners. I need to surround myself with people that are killing me, crushing me that life. I need to surround myself with people that hold me to higher standards. I need to read books and control my frequency. And I'm very careful about what very, very selective about what people I, around, I allow around myself. If people are acting up, I get rid of them. You gotta do it, man. The iron gate, baby. Personal boundaries, Pfft. shut. The iron gate. Personal boundaries, any bullshit, Pfft. shut. And as you grow, you'll have to do that to more and more things. See, growing is about saying no to more and more things. You say no to bullshit little tabloid pretending to be media, pretending to be the news. You say no friends that are negative. You say no to procrastination. You say no to approaching anxiety with a woman. You say no to holding yourself to lower standards. You just say fucking no.